say something, uh, you know, Apple, you know, I'm a big fan of Apple, but let me say something negative about Apple. I don't think this is particularly new, but it's, it is important to say and to, and to uh, clearly articulate my, my disgust at it, at Apple's action. I mean, one of the challenges and one of the uh, things that happens pretty much for any company that uh, has significant um, engagement in China is that the Chinese government requires them to abide by, by certain requirements. Uh, you know, uh, I think Google, before Google was kicked out of China, uh, ha provided the Chinese government with all kinds of information that it shouldn't. Other companies over the years have done things uh, when China has asked that they should have not, you know, uh, most of which has to do with, uh, uh, with transferring IP, but, but, but a lot of other things, a, a lot of things that have helped China become the kind of police state, surveillance state that it has become. Uh, a lot of that was, is not being possible without technology from the United States, uh, from U.S. companies and technologies from um, actually from Israel. Israel has, has sold China a lot of its surveillance technology. Um, so it, it wasn't surprising, but it still was shocking and disappointing when there was a story, I think it was last week, that uh, in the latest update of Apple system software for the iPhone and I guess the iPad, uh, in China, they had made the ability for phones to communicate with one another through, uh, I think it's drop something, uh, what was it called? Uh, uh, I forget the name of it, but it's the ability to phones to communicate one-on-one -on -one without going through the, uh, the network. I could just put my iPhone next to your iPhone and they, you know, you can transfer files and do stuff like that. Well, protesters all over the world, airdrop, thank you, Scott, uh, thank you, Robin. So airdrop, so airdrop um, uh, was a way in which protesters could communicate with one another without having to use the cell, ne cell network, cell network, which could be controlled by the relevant country, Iran, China, or wherever the protest happened to be. And certainly China can control that pretty easily. So, um, uh, you know, Apple's had that ability to do. What happened is in the latest update for the iPhone and iPad, uh, the latest update is iOS, that feature, the feature of AirDrop working without cellular connection was, dis was turned off, made impossible in China. So we can still use it. All of us can still use AirDrop, but it's being turned off in China, which is super depressing super disappointing. Um, obviously, this is a request the Chinese government made. This is not a request, a demand that the Chinese government made. It's unbelievably disappointing that um, Apple has succumbed to that. Uh, on, on the good news side of this, Apple is actually uh, is actively diversifying their, uh, uh, their supply chain away from China, moving uh, Moving significant, uh, significant uh, assembly of iPhone uh, to other places. That's going to take probably five years to really get into place. Uh, a lot of that will move to Vietnam and to uh, and to India. So very, very disappointed in Apple. Um, it's a company that should know better. Of course, every American company has done this uh, in China, but still, every time you hear about it. It just, it just, God, it shakes your confidence. And also, I feel for the Chinese people who now are taking much more risk than they would otherwise have to. Oh. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content. And of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.